Welcome to Gamer Station Indie Game News. I'm your host, Stephen Snake Uke Lindsay, and this is some of the latest happenings in the indie game world. Blocks That Matter Bonus Level Recently shown off on their blog is a brief look at the making of, in the end game version, of a bonus level they're calling Best Friends. Now for those that don't know, how you unlock these bonus levels and some extra games that are in Blocks That Matter is that you'll need to find some blocks that matter, which are these hidden blocks in a treasure chest that's secretly found in a level, which we told you about in a previous video. Now currently the game is in testing to find out some possible bugs that might be in the game, but if all things go well, we'll be able to play and get the game real soon. Dead Cyborg Debut Trailer Tear Area Trailer. Now this game, this game has been getting a lot of attention, possibly because Notch happened to mention it, but I myself first noticed it on some other indie devs Twitter feed. Tear Area, I guess that's how you pronounce it, appears to be best described as a little mix between Minecraft, a little of Minor Dig Deep, and some type of shooting base 2D game with the giant bosses. The trailer shows the various elements at play, mining deep into the ground, building structures, and shooting things like flying eyeballs. You can also craft objects that will help you dig and or kill monsters. Now also shown in the trailer is some multiplayer interaction, and when the game comes out there will be PvP matches, and also it might possibly have up to 255 players at the same time on a level. Now as this trailer lasts for about 5 minutes, we can't show you all of it, so to view the whole thing, you'll have to go to their website which we provided links for below. Revenge of the Source Code Revenge of the Titans, a game that's been out for a bit and was in one of the humble indie bundles, is now sharing its source code to all the people out there. Like all games that do share their code, there are some rules that you have to follow, such as you can't redistribute their assets, such as music and graphics. Now, if you do like the setup of Revenge of the Titans and are trying to learn the language, or just want to know how to create one that's similar to Revenge of the Titans, they can get the files from the link that we provided below. I am you from the future. There's no time to explain. Follow me to- OH CHRIST! <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not another one of these. There's another game that's apparently been stolen. It's also on the fancy iOS device where it seems to happen the most. This time around, the claim is against Tiny Hawk by the person behind Tiny Skater. Now, unlike in the case of Lugaro in Lugaro HD and or The Blocks Cometh, where the games were just more or less a blatant copy and paste, more or less, this one only copies the levels and puts a fancy new graphical look to it, at least from what I've seen. Not surprisingly enough, the person who has made Tiny Hawk also made the plagiarized version of The Blocks Cometh. Now the developer behind Tiny Skater has contacted Apple asking for them to remove the game 
but apparently he's having some issues because he doesn't have a similar game out on their service at the moment. Tiny Bang Story Released Man, I almost completely forgot about this game, but luckily enough, there was a newsletter. Anyways, apparently, the world in this game has been destroyed after a certain object has passed over the world, and now it's been turned into puzzle pieces. Now, the game is a point-and-click game that, to me, whenever I played it briefly, felt a little more like a find-the-object game, at least in the first level where I tried out the demo. Now, you can download the demo from the game's website, which we provided below, or you can buy it on Steam, which is on sale for this week only. Euphoria coming to PSN in June. Ah, uh, yes, Euphoria. I remember you well, as in you were kind of one of the first games I really wrote an article about. Now, for those that don't know, Euphoria is a real-time strategy game that involves having plants killing other plants and taking over plant planets. Now, for the PSN version, they'll be offering new units, rebalanced levels, ability to speed up gameplay, more collectibles, more music, better graphics, and much, much more. Now, if you haven't gotten it for your PC, they can get it for the PSN in June. Unless the PSN is still down by then. Mountain Blade with Fire Sword launching next Tuesday. Now, those that have been waiting patiently for the follow-up to the original Mountain Blade will be happy to know that it'll be coming out on May 3rd, which, for those who don't know, is next Tuesday. So with their upcoming release, they have created a new trailer that they're calling the Seeds trailer to show off the game in action. So let's take an extended look at the trailer. Indie Dev Showcase Submissions Open At this year's Indie Dev Day, there's a new area that'll be called Indie Showcase. Now this will be where 10 unreleased indie games will be shown off and competing for a prize. One of those games could be yours if you happen to enter your game into the showcase. Now you have till May 20th to submit your game at the site we provided below. Now to be eligible, your studio must have no more than 15 people your studio in the entered game is a non-publisher funded game. Your development budget for the entire game must be less than 1 million pounds. And the entered game must be created in the indie spirit. We're not really sure what the indie spirit is. XBLIG Games Possibly Dominating Best Selling List Now this, this is some surprising news. With a change in the way they factor games on the marketplace, changing it from one day to a weekly basis, several XBLIG games are ranking in the top of the best selling list for the entire Xbox Live marketplace. Surprisingly enough, there are a few that are ranking up there with the games like Red Dead and Call of Duty. Now only time will show how well this will affect sales of the indie games. Prawn Landscape Trailer 
This is another one of those games that it seems like it's been quite a while since I've heard anything about it. In Prawn, you control a ball that moves around a tube, and you must avoid obstacles as you go faster and faster until you eventually die. This trailer just showcases the landscape, and the ball that I just mentioned is missing from the trailer. Now, the game is finally finished, and it'll be coming out sometime this spring, and considering it's spring, we don't have that long to wait anymore. Now, today we're going to end with the trailer for the upcoming game, Garsas the Monster Slayer. Now, before we get to that, as always, I'll remind you, each and every Wednesday, we have a new video in the series, and on Sundays, we have our Browser Games of the Week videos. So subscribe to us to be up to date on all of our videos. And without further ado, here's Garsasp the Monster Slayer trailer. 